Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back to share with you what I got for my 28th birthday. Um, this is not a video, just a little disclaimer as always, this is not a video of me bragging or X, Y and Z. I just do these every single year for birthday and Christmas and I love sitting down sharing what I was gifted for memory purposes because I always look back on these videos and think ah oh, that was the year I got x y and z and I just I really like filming these videos I like a little time capsule of the year of my life and things like that so this year like every year I was thoroughly spoiled by Neil and the children and my family and I've got loads of goodies to share with you this year today is actually my birthday it is quarter to eight in the evening hence the random light but I just wanted to get it done. If you receive loads of little bits like I do, like for birthdays and Christmas, I can imagine you will relate in the sense of, I just like to put everything in a place. And I didn't want it to be set out for the next two or three days when I could then next get a chance to film. So I said to Neil, let me just sit down and just film it. The children aren't here tonight, they're actually at my mum's for the first time of not having Florence, which is very weird. I've had a child with me. <laughs> 24 7 since what well, for a year and four months which is crazy so sorry i'm very hot i don't know why i'm wearing like this lounge where i got it today and i just tried it on i don't know where to start um let me show you what the children got me i literally have just shoved it all in boxes and then just brought it through so i'm gonna have to remember what the children gifted me. So P went to B&M with Neil and got me some of my favorite chocolate bits, which is very kind. So I got Aero Bubbles and Crispy M&Ms, which she loves herself. Um, what else did she get me? Also from the children, I got some palm olive, um, like bubble bath, shower, shower gel stuff. I always need this stuff. So I got that and P picked all of this stuff herself. I got a J Reed diffuser, which she got me the candle for, I wanna say it was for Christmas. Um, so she knew she wanted to get me like the matching Reed diffuser, which I think is really thoughtful, bless her heart. And then she also got me a candle, which is a berry and cassis. This is from B&M, if anyone is wondering where all this stuff is from. This one's really nice and I really like the color. So that'll look nice on a shelf somewhere and then I also got sorry I think I just moved the camera yeah I did and me constantly bending down I know it's going to be annoying but hey ho um a Rodox bath bomb because I love a bath bomb and no I think that was all I got from the children if I see anything else I'll show you as and when I go sorry like I said it's all very chaotic and last minute but as is my brain right now my main present from the children was my Kath Kisden mug, which I absolutely love. I haven't been, I think I'm going to change. I'm so hot. Um, I haven't been on the Kath Kisden website in like six months. Like I, I just, I don't go on it anymore because obviously they don't have the stores and it breaks my heart because I just love Kath Kisden. And P knew she wanted to get me a mug. And so she got me this one. This is the, is it called Veil Flowers? Um, and I love it. It's got like this really nice yellow handle and it's floral and I just love it. It's dirty because I had my tea in there this morning and I love it. This is £8 and this is the Stanley style mug which is what I have. I've got probably too many Stanley mugs but they're just, I just love them so much. So that is what the children got me. From my mum I've got some bathroom mitts, which I've already put away. And then she gave me some money, which I have probably spent today on books. She gave me 40 pounds. And then she also gifted me a game. She was like, what do you want? Like, is there anything that you'd like? And I'm starting to get back into my Switch again. I think I've mentioned it previously. I did in my favorites video. I said about how I've gone off I think, yeah, Animal Crossing, and I'm starting to get into other things, and I really wanted to give this a try. Um, so this is Stardew Valley. I love the case. Like, it's really cool. Um, 
and it's basically like a farming game and I just really wanted to give this one a try uh, and I really like the look of it so that was from my mum so very generous from her from my dad I got a John Lewis gift voucher I also had a little bit left on a John Lewis gift voucher from Christmas so I picked up these which are such a treat Birkenstocks and I have wanted Birkenstocks for I couldn't even tell you how many years and I never got them because I thought they were really expensive and they are very expensive shoes these are £60 I had a £30 gift card for my birthday I had £15 left from Christmas so technically these only cost me £15 which is amazing and I absolutely love them um yes yeah, so I got them in the all black with the black detailing I don't know which ones these are called I just saw them on the shelf and I was like yeah I really want those I either wanted um like sandals or some converse but John Lewis don't sell converse in store I don't know if they do online um but I love these and they're just great Ellie loves hers she's got I think she's got two or three pairs and I always look at hers and I think I really want some and I just I love them so much so that was what I got from my from friends not friends from in-laws, so my brother-in-laws, I've got two brother-in-laws, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my auntie, I've got money, so I did treat myself today and I'll show you that. Um, I've got a gift from a friend and then the rest is from Neil. So I have got a friend called Rosie, who I'm sure is watching this video, hello if you are, um, that I met, it's really weird, <laughs> but we met on Instagram years ago and i honestly couldn't even tell you how many years it's been and we speak we used to speak on dms and then at the start of this year we i don't know how we even started speaking for some reason we just swapped numbers i don't even know how it occurred but we swapped numbers and we voice note every single day and i would classify her as one of my best friends even though i've never met her which i know is really really weird but I speak to her more than I speak to some of my family members. And she was like, Jess, I want to get you a gift. What's your address? And I was like, no, I don't need you to get me a gift. But she got me a gift. Uh, I say a gift, some gifts. And I'm so appreciative of them because they are just, it was just the loveliest little care package that I received. And it was so unexpected. So in said care package was two face masks again i've got loads of face masks i always stock up so i always get loads for my birthday and loads for christmas and then i just use them throughout the time period so i'm so lucky that my birthday is like slap bang in the middle of the year these are garnier i've never had garnier ones these are very fancy so i've got a moisture bomb tissue mask um lavender and hyaluronic acid and then we've got pomegranate and hyaluronic hyaluronic acid they look amazing and I can't wait to use these. My auntie has this range in her bathroom and I always look at it. So very kind and generous from Rosie. I've got a bar of chocolate, a bar of galaxy. Can't go wrong. I need to put that in the fridge because it is so hot. Um, and then she got me a book, which was so generous. This is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, which is um, a TV show on Sky. I've got a feeling I was watching Fleur de Force and she was talking about this and I think she was promoting the second series, correct me if I'm wrong, um, and it's based on this book series and it's about witches, demons, vampires and all of that sort of stuff that I'm getting into, like I'm really getting into like the fantasy genre. I've never read anything about witches before but it's something that I'm really interested in. This is a really big book, um, just short of 700 pages, sorry. <laughs> slowly melting i need to go get my vest top but i can't be asked to stand up um so yeah i received this from rosie and i'm really excited to read it there it's a trilogy there's three other books no two other books so we've got this one which is the discovery of witches and then we've got a shadow of night and the book of life um, which I almost picked up today, but I thought, I don't need it. I'm not going to fly through the next three this year, I don't think. Because uh, I want to be able to read, then watch, so on and so forth. And I need to figure out what the first series is based on, the second and all of that. So if you've read this, leave me a comment below, let me know. Um, 
follow me on my book club Instagram. We can talk about this over there and things like that. So that was from Rosie. And then my amazing gift, which I can't believe she got me, and was just a complete fluke and very lucky that Neil didn't get it for me on behalf of the children, was this. And this is my Bluebell Kath Kidston mug, which I don't know if it's part of the collection, but they're very similar in the sense that they've got painted handles and Kath Kidston never really do that. And I just, I love them both so much. Um, so this is the Bluebell, it just says painted Bluebell. I think it's called like Bluebell Woods or something. And it's stunning. So it's got all the detailing in the middle. It's got the blue handle and I just love this so much. Neil almost got this one. So... I, I can't believe I didn't get a duplicate, um, but I feel so lucky to have this. It, she just knows me down to a tea. Books, chocolate, self-care, and tea. So, once again, Rosie, thank you so much. I've already voice, voice noted and sent messages, but I just, I love it. And I'm now gonna have, once I finish this video and I've cooled down, I'm gonna have my tea and I've got a Millie's birthday cookie cake, which I've never had before. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this evening. So I've got that. And then everything else is either things that I've bought with birthday money, which I'll show after this, and then gifts from Neil. So Neil always says, give me a list and I'll, I'll buy what's on the list. And I never ask for anything expensive because I just don't need anything. I just ask for little bits, mainly books this year. And I ask for things that I like that I don't necessarily want to buy myself. So the first thing he got me, which was a complete surprise and I didn't ask for, were these little star earrings. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. They're tiny. They're like a little 5mm um, silver stud. And I love them so much. They're matching. They're not different shapes. Different shapes, different designs. Um, so I got those and I love them so much. I have a little beauty box here of things. Did I just show you my address? No. Um... And these are things that I might have picked out myself. <laughs> um, some of them were a surprise, but some of them I went into boots with Ellie and I was like, help me pick some bits for my birthday. Deodorant, classic. Needed it. Really needed deodorant. I've been using Neil's for a week. Um, so that's what Neil got me. And then he also got me these. So he got me the 90 minute foot peel. I don't think I spoke about this on my channel. I used this. I think I got one for Christmas. And I used it during lockdown three and it works but holy shit does it destroy your feet honestly my feet were flaking and peeling and scaly for a, about a month it says like it works in seven to ten days and it does but they your skin does not shed in one piece mine came off in bits and they work neil didn't mean to get this he meant to get the like the, the nourishing moisturizing one but he got the foot peel i will probably do this again at the end of the year i do not recommend doing these every six to eight weeks definitely not i don't even know if you can i don't know what it says for best continued results, use the product every two to three months. I don't even recommend that. I would say it's too much. I would say once a year because it's highly toxic and really chemically. Is chemically a word? No. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've used these. They are great, but they are lethal. And I mean, sometimes I was like peeling bits of skin off my feet and I actually tore into my skin. It was that painful. Um, but they do work and they make your feet really soft. So I've got one of those. That's a very long story about a bloody foot peel. And then I got three face masks. Charcoal peel off, strawberry cream, and peel off passion. So I'm set for face masks now. Got myself this from Aldi. Um, I said to Neil, I'd really like a new headband. So I've got that one for when I take my makeup off. Pick myself up. Whoops pick myself up some new Barry M gel jump oh my god I can't speak gel nail paint paints oh my god get my words out so I picked up three colors so we've got like a darker like it's like a purpley ready pink this is in rhubarb um I buy polishes for my toes I never do gel on my toes I just look 
I like how it looks and I how, like how long it lasts, but actually getting the gel off my toes makes me feel really queasy and I just don't like it. Um, so I like to just paint my toes because my toes last like three weeks anyway, so that's fine. I got a lighter pink. It's coming up darker on camera. It's not that dark. Um, this is in Raspberry Ripple. Um, and like I said, this is the Jelly High Shine. And I really like this one. This is in Jalapeno. And I think this one's really cool. I don't have any green and I like having like wacky colours on my toes. At the moment I've got a really old like Sally Hansen teal, which I love. So I've got those three. I really wanted a new facial SPF this year. I've just run out of my Aldi Lacura one and I didn't rate it. It was like an SPF 20, but it made my face so sticky. And I really wanted like a decent high SPF for my face um because i don't really wear makeup like foundation or anything i just put on powder nowadays so i picked this up this is the nivea sun uv face soothing sensitive 0% sticky feeling 50 high spf so that is what i got and i love it it's so lightweight and it, like it says it's not it doesn't feel sticky whereas my other one was it, I could feel it like sticking into my pores, whereas this is not like that. I really, really like it. Ellie got it at the same time as me, and Ellie loves hers as well. Um, so I really recommend this. I think this was eight pounds, but it went. I can't remember if it had promo on for like six sixty six or something. But either way, I I really recommend it, and I'll definitely be repurchasing it in the future. I really, really like that. Um. I also picked up myself a new highlighter. These, this is the brand of highlighter I use. I get questions about my highlighter. I use Makeup Obsession. I've got the white one, I've got the purple one, and now I've got Mega Honey. That's what this one looks like. I can't open it, it's got a sticker on it. Um, so that's what that looks like. I just thought with the tan it would look really nice. So I picked that one up and then a few little extra bits. I got the Aldi La Cura eye cream, avocado bright eyes. Oh no, it's not an eye cream, it's a sleeping mask. So I got that, I got that ages ago. I think this was 3 dollars 4.99. So again, just a little beauty bit. And then I got myself some Mitchum non-scented, or unscented, sorry, deodorant. So I've got really itchy nose, I've got something on the end of it. Um, I got this for my surgery, so if you're new to my channel, I can imagine a lot of you are aware, but I've got a breast reduction booked for the beginning of August, which I, can't, I still can't believe that's a sentence that I can say. Um, and I didn't know about, uh, I haven't spoken to my surgeon about it yet, but I didn't know about deodorants post-surgery and sprays going into scars obviously i know i'm gonna be taped and stuff but i just thought like a cream why am i explaining explaining what deodorant i got i got this because i didn't want spray to go into my scars didn't know it was going to be best so i just got a cream deodorant does anyone really care no i don't need to explain about deodorant this is why my video is like 50 minutes long okay but right, is that everything off the sofa yes am i still a hot mess yes um, oh, I also got this as a little beauty bit. I've still got some more beauty bits. Um, uh, Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Mask. I really want to try this. I know this one's for like colour illuminating for coloured hair, but I just liked the smell. Um, and it's like a thick... Oh my god, it smells so good. It's a thick conditioning hair mask, which I need, because I've got dry ends. Um... Let's just go through the box now. So everything else that I'm going to show you is from Neil. Um, I picked this up myself <laughs> from Aldi. It's a silicone facial cleanser. I really wanted this last year, but they sold out. Um, this is for sensitive skin, which I have. It's the pink one. I haven't obviously got it out of the box. Should we do that now? Let's have a little look. A little unboxing. Let's have a look. It's got a charger. Um, I just really wanted to give one of these a go. I've got a brush. I think it was like three years ago. Oh, cute. Um, and it's just really harsh on my skin. Oh my God, this is, oh my God, wow, that feels so soft. Wow, just turn you down. Oh yeah, I like that. I've got a lot of time for that. Can you hear that? And then you can really, 
turn that up to like vibrate over your face. This is what it looks like. I'm flashing. Silicone brushes. I like that. I can't remember how much that was. I think it was eight, nine, ten pounds, something like that. Uh, what else have I got? Let's go through the box. A charger. Always need that. I don't know what's wrong with my Apple charger, so they just never last. Uh, black eyebrow tint. This is the brand that I use, Strictly Profes Professional. You can get this on eBay. I needed the black because I mix black brown. I mix black and brown to get the like the shades that I like. Um, I got some new scrunchies from Primark. So we've got like some like silk satin ones and some I don't know what uh, cord. 150 and two pounds. I love those. They're great. I used to make my own scrunchies, but I just can't be bothered now because when I used to make them, you couldn't really buy them in the shop. So now I can buy them for £1.50. So can't be asked to sit and make those at the moment. I needed a new mouse because the children decided to climb on my laptop bag and stand on my mouse and they broke the spinning wheel and I can't function without a spinning wheel. So I said to Neil, can I please just have a new wireless mouse? So I got a new wireless mouse. It's a Logitech M185. If anyone's in the market for a new wireless mouse, this is in black and I love it. I'm gonna see how long I can film for before my battery dies. I've also gone quite red just turning them the right way around. I got some cycling, cycling shorts from Primark. These are the ribbed ones, they're not the see-through ones. Can you see that? Can you tell I was trying it on with something that had fluff? Uh, I got them in the medium, it says four euros 50, but I think they were three pounds 50. And I really like those, they're really stretchy. And I just think for work with like a baggy tee at the moment when it's so hot, Perfect, because I used to wear like joggers and stuff. Again, another Primark purchase are these mint trainers. I have these in the tan and I wear them pretty much every single day on the school run. I absolutely love them. I've gone a little bit white. Um, so I've got them in the mint and I love them with denim shorts, a tan and a nice tea. I just I just love these. I couldn't recommend them enough. They're the memory foam ones and they're ten pounds and I, I love them. I live in my tan ones so he kindly got those for me. When I went into Primark I was gonna buy this myself and he was like no I'm gonna get it for you for your birthday. So I've got this bag. Um I used this today and I absolutely loved it. So you can obviously have it over your shoulder, you can have it cross body um and it comes with a little pouch here which I put my face mask in and then it comes with a, a nice big compartment like I don't have a small purse at all I've got a normal big size purse and I've still got room for my hand sand, my tampons, my perfume, lip balm and my phone so that works a treat I really like it and this is only £8 from Primark I absolutely love that so it was very kind and generous to get that for me um, I feel very spoiled showing all this stuff because I got so much from Neil and he just goes over the top and every single year he's like I didn't get you enough I'm like no you got me way too much he got me a game this was second hand but I don't need it brand new um, and this is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee some comments suggested about Pokemon Let's Go and they either had Eevee or Pikachu I don't really know the difference but I just thought this one looked really cute so I said if you can get it second hand Please do. And that is my plan for the evening. Child free playing Pokemon. I'm such a geek at heart. And I'm, I I love it. I embrace it. I love being a geek. I'm proud of being a geek. Um, he got me some trainers. I don't know how much these are. And I wish I had the link. But I don't. Um, from ASOS. I really wanted some chunky trainers. Because I just think they're cool. And I'm very late to the party and the fashion and things like that. I'm not a massive fan of like the 90s fashion that's going on at the moment. But I am here for a chunky trainer. And I just think these are sick. I love them. I think he said they were in the sale. And he said they were less than £20. They're ASOS design. They're really dirty now. Oh, they were beautiful. They are still beautiful this morning though. 
they're still white and clean and I just love them and it was like walking on a cloud and I just I love them so much I think they're cool I don't know what brands of trainers do this expensively but I just think they're really cool and yeah I got them in size 6 that's my size and I just I just bloody love so I've got some chunky trainers I've got so much footwear this year um what else okay i'm almost done with things that neil got i feel I, I, I it does make me feel uncomfortable because oh what have i done now your new move record brilliant i've burned over 880 calories today fantastic um yeah i feel like i'm i've got i've got quite a lot and i have and i don't want judgment because i'm really appreciative of this stuff i got some post-surgery bras um on amazon they do these you know like when you read the title it's like sports bra post-surgery bra blah 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 blah. they like list it as everything so whenever you search it it comes up this is the brand of sports wear whatever you want to call it that was my that were my leggings so if you're in the market for like a comfy bra great but these came up as post-surgery bras and on a breast reduction group they have suggested these as well. So they look, <laughs> they look tiny and I've put one on today and the band fits which is what you need to do is make sure the band fits and then hopefully your boobs will just fit in these tiny, <laughs> obviously I know they, they stretch. I can't get my head around the fact that I'm going to be able to wear this. I put this on today. Um, I'd get done for inappropriate images if I showed you what that looked like. I probably will at some point um, in a boob breast reduction video. Uh, so this is my, <laughs> I've got three. Um, post surgery bra, it's got a zip and it's a razor back back. And I them I, they're they're great i just can't believe i've got these i've got these for a purpose of a reduction so it fits around my waistband i know it probably doesn't look like it fits because of how wide my boobs make me look um so i got that they're from amazon they they're the brand klaus bro or whatever they're called i think is what it was are they oh no they're different zo zo zoria there you go that's what they are um so i've got them in the blue the gray which i love and the black i think they're stunning and they came in this little bag and i just can't believe the reason as to why i've got those so i've got some post-surgery bras bras because i really needed some and then the rest of the stuff is books so ah uh, one book that i was really excited for was this this is book three in the blood and ash or from blood and ash um series and i can't wait to get into this this is a heavy book this is it's just short or just over sorry it's six four five pages but the type of pages that have been used they are thick compared to normal paperback pages so this is a heavy book um i can't wait to read this and finally find out what happens um the wait time for kindle was like 12 weeks so i asked for it for my birthday i don't have book one and two i will eventually have to go and buy them myself to match on the shelf but for now i've got this one does it annoy anyone else that this bit's not centralised? <laughs> because that really winds me up. But I love it and I'm so excited to have that. And then I got two trilogies, which I'm so excited for. Uh, this year I've really branched out my reading and getting into different genres. And I need to change my camera settings. Hang on. I've just changed my camera settings. I hope that's better. Um, yeah, I've recently changed, not changed, but I've branched out my reading tastes and my genres. And I really wanted to try some other series. And these are highly recommended. And I really hope that I get on with them. Again, like always, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've read them. So I've got V.E. Schwab's Dark Shade of Magic. This is what they look like. 
Um, so in here we've got a darker shade of magic, a gathering of shadows and a conjuring of light. So that's what they look like. And then the other one I got is these, which is the Remnant Chron Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Uh, and again, I can't get these in my library. I can't get them on Kindle. The only way you can get these is in paperback format. So we've got The Kiss of Deception, A Heart of Betrayal and The Beauty of Darkness. And this, I think these are American paperbacks. Are they taller? only by a smidge but that's okay i've got american paperbacks anyway on my shelf um this is about why do i not have the blurb i don't have the blurb it's about a girl and a love triangle and you don't find out x y z until the end of the book or something like that it just sounds really good i know i haven't sold it to you but it sounds epic and i just really wanted to read these so that's seven books. <laughs> have I got some more? Yes, I have. Uh, and then finally, I need to wrap this up really quickly because I'm literally dying inside. I got this from H&M. It's a long sleeve um, loungewear piece. I got it in the sale. It was five pounds and I just thought for chilling it in the house, in the, like in the summer with the children and stuff, I've just got it just to throw on. It's nice and stretchy, so again, post-surgery would be great. I got this on a whim and I love it so much and it doesn't fit with my boobs, but I'm praying that after my surgery, it will fit. Um, it was 13 pounds from Primark, I got it in a 14, um, and it's this beautiful V-neck dress. It's a tea dress, but I'll wear cycling shorts underneath it so the wind doesn't show on my ass because no one needs to see that. It's got beautiful sleeves. They're not too tight and they just sit really, really nicely. The colouring looks really nice on me with my tan. It's got tie strings around the back. I know I'm not showing this to you very well. Um, and it comes just above the knee and I just love this so much. The problem with me, A, this is cotton, so with big boobs, with tops with no give, it's pointless buying them because they just don't don't stretch over my boobs. Um, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see here, it's got like stitching and detailing and stitching of like the bust section around here. I'm sorry, this is really hard to show. Um, that sits across my chest at the moment so I'm hoping that once I've had my surgery it will sit nicely because I'm due to go down to a C or a D cup so this should fit because it fits everywhere else so I don't want to return it because I love it so I'm willing to take the risk on that and um, I also picked myself up just a long tee from New Look I got one in Primark but I need to exchange it because I've got a large and I needed a medium because it's oversized row row weight so I got this one in a size 14. Again, it is quite big, but it's it's large and it's it's not large. It's like a slouchy, oversized fit. It was 9.99, and it's just this like grey, washed out look. I really like it. Again, with the cycling shorts that Neil got me and my chunky trainers, I just think nice on the school run when it's just hot and just throw something on. Um, root, stop. And then finally, sorry if you're bored, <laughs> I treated myself to some books. So from WH Smith, I went into two bookshops because I wanted to. I didn't have the children and I was able to. And I had a great time. So I got The Shadow and Bone. It's part of the trilogy. I'm missing the last one because they didn't have it. Um, but that's okay. I'm not gonna fly through these three. Um, so I've got Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and Stige, Stige, Siege and Storm. These are, sorry, again, the itchy nose. These are currently on Netflix. And it's, I think the series is called Shadow and Bone. And I really wanted to read the books before I got into the series. Um, I know that this one's not everyone's favorite. A lot of other people prefer the duology. Is it called The Six of Crows? which I think I've got the first book on my Kindle because it was on the 99p deal. Um, but I picked these ones up because I really want to give these ones a go. So this is book one, this is book two. I'm really excited to give these a go. Um, I've wanted them for a really, really, really long time. And I love the spines. They're beautiful. 
And then the other one's red, Ruin and Rising. So I'll probably ask for that one for Christmas. Then it finishes off the set. And then I went into Waterstones. I actually got a bag, which I love. And I haven't been into like, I haven't been into Waterstones to get a book for too long. And when we were shopping there, Neil said that he was listening to there was a mother and there was a mum and dad there with their two daughters and they were in like the children's section and obviously the YA section is right next door and he's listening to their conversation and they were looking at getting their girls some books and they were like picking up like twilight and things and they asked the the shopkeeper like one of the assistants in water zones like is this appropriate for a 12 year old and it was just I just loved it and they're explaining to their children about how important it is to shop at bookshops because if not the bookshops wouldn't survive and I just I just loved it. It was just such a lovely experience. So, let's just bloody get this video done, shall we? I treated myself to two books. So again, I got another Lee Bardugo, which I wasn't planning on getting, but I was suckered into the, I was originally just gonna get this, but this was on the buy one, get one half price table. And so I picked up Night House by Lee Bardugo. So I haven't started Chain of Gold series. What is this called? Um, I haven't started The Last Hours yet um, because I'm not ready and the third one hasn't come out yet. I like to binge them. So I've got this one on my shelf ready to go and I've been waiting for it to be a paperback. Normally they do them in hardback and then they come out in US hard, uh, paperback covers and none of my Cassies are in US paperback, paperback, so I had to wait until the UK paperback came out. Wow, I'll get your words out. Um, and this one, when was this? Did this come out in 2019? Twenty twenty. This one was published in twenty twenty one. So yeah, I got Chain of Gold, but hard buy one get one half price. Uh, and then I picked up Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which I can't believe I've got three books and I've never read anything by her before, so hopefully I like them. <laughs> um, and this one just sounds really cool. Everyone was raving about it, and I really wanted to give it a go. So this, I'll read the synopsis. Um, Galaxy Alex Stern is the most unlikely member of Yale's freshman class, a dropout and the sole survivor of her... Um, of a horrific unsolved crime. Alex was hoping for a fresh start, but her free ride comes with a catch. She's been tasked with monitoring Yale's secret society's notorious haunts of the rich and powerful. Now there's a dead girl on campus and Alex is the only person willing to look deeper because the societies are far more sinister and extraordinary than anyone ever imagined. They tamper with forbidden magic, they raise the dead, and sometimes they prey on the living. And I think that sounds really cool. Um, there was a lot to choose from. I could have spent a lot of money, but these two cost, I think it was like £13 something. So that finishes my haul. I don't know how many books I got. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. That's a lot. I've got 12 books. I have had a great day. I have been thoroughly spoiled. We went to Cambridge and we went out for lunch and we didn't have the push chair and it was just really nice and sunny and relaxed. And I'm now gonna to go to bed at half past eight and play Pokemon, which I can't wait for. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, just repeating the start of the disclaimer. I'm not showing off. I, um, just do these every single year for my birthday and for Christmas. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've read any of the books, if you've got any of the stuff, if you've got anything to recommend me, um, let me know. I'm now gonna go have my tea and some ice cubes, cool down. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video.